On April 25, 1950, the NBA would be changed forever. When the Boston Celtics selected Chuck Cooper in the second round, he became the first African-American ever to be drafted. The Washington Capitals followed their lead and selected Earl Lloyd in the ninth round. And two months later, the New York Knickerbockers signed Nat Sweetwater Clifton, a star with the Harlem Globetrotters. It was great that we had the great kind of personalities of the people of Earl Lloyd Cooper and Sweetwater to come to be the men who started this thing for us. He always said that he was on a mission to make it to the National Basketball Association. And certainly having guys like Earl Lloyd and Sweetwater Clifton certainly made it easier for him during that season. I always defer to Chuck. I happen to be the first to play only because my team is scheduled to play October 31st and the Celtics <laughs> play is November 1st. I truly believe if Chuck had not been drafted by the Celtics, that given the racial climate in Washington, D.C. in 1950, there's no way the Washington Caps are going to step up and draft me. Bechtel's shot from the side is off, and Lloyd rebounds. First African-American ever to play a game in the NBA. Earl Lloyd is, is one solid block of the NBA foundation. And he was just a great asset to the Syracuse Nationals. Clifton is the key man for the Knicks right now. Mike and his guardian, but Sweets gets past him for a marvelous underhand shot. Sweetwater, I remember he was very strong, about 6'5", forward, uh, tough defensive player and, and a good rebounder and a really nice guy. While their presence didn't cause much of a stir amongst their peers, the three men still encountered racism off the court. Most of our problems sent around restaurants and hotels, and I went in places where I ordered a meal and they put it in the styrofoam tray, meaning that you can't eat it here. So I said, well, if I can't eat it here, I have to leave it here. But that's just the way it was. Chuck Cooper, who was the first black player in the league and who I roomed with. We look up, and there are the two signs, one with an arrow pointing to where the colored went to the restroom and the other for whites. And it was a moment in time where you're standing with, with a close friend and you're embarrassed for the world, you know. You, you just don't know what to say. You don't know how to explain that type of overt stupidity. In addition to their sheer talent, the inner strength and fortitude required to integrate the NBA has made these three pioneers monumental figures in league history. The men that were selected, Earl, Cooper, and Sweets, were men of great character. Guys that management could say can handle the situation and go in there and hold themselves up and represent the organization the right way. 